And then we have Rainbow to my X-Files. Now, what we have here is, of course, is we've got like a, quite a bolt load. Of course, these I don't think have been washed, so just, but there is a lot more stuff to go in because there's a lot in this bag. So, this is going to be bulked out. There is a lot of these. And some of them are really disgusting. is from downstairs today. So this creates a bulk load. So we need a lot. We need a whole lot of pods. What we need is a whole lot of pods. A very whole lot of pods. Locked. And we have a cotton 60 quick because that is a humongous load. And that needs something a bit more stronger. So this bulk load, of course. A humongous lot, so hopefully, everything will be cleaned out with those four pods. I hope. And whilst that's going. the suds are now starting to burst open so starting at the bulky load and already it needs more water Bolt load is now at 60 degrees. It is hot to touch. And of course, the suds I put in has definitely made all this. A bit, a bit thicker. It shouldn't cause sud slot because I don't think there is m enough in there to actually cause it, but there is enough that allowed the wash to sanitize properly. So everything should be running fine. But now loading up for a cool down so here we go is that devoting the cool down part and now there's
Ocean Machine is on its first intermediate spin. What I said was right. It is very unbalanced load. It'll do anything. I mean anything. It feels a little bit crackly. Oh. Balanced, and I see dripping. Oh my, and it's it's locking. That's going to cause an emergency rinse or redo the spin, adding a few more minutes to the wash. Whoopsie! And of course, it is bulky load as well, so that's also contribute. Right, machine is trying to try again. Oh, it's going Unbalanced. But I think it may have cleared the sub slot. Oh no, it's doing it again! But it's a very low one though, sub slot. No, it goes just beating the sub slot. She's got cuppers. Of course, the washing machine did sound a bit guttural, still trying to clear its throat from the sounds of it. So, but of course, it's going to do this one there. Slightly unbalanced. No, no, it's doing it again! It sucks locking! Oh my, it is such locking again. Can hear it flushing. It to six and hundred. Now it's trying to get faster. Oh, 
can it make it to a thousand RPM? It's certainly going to try. It's beating the sud slot. Suds inside, of course, are starting to uh, sud slot. So it's starting to fuzzy logic jump. And I can hear the washing machines chattering away. No, it hasn't beaten the sud slot, but it has got to 1000 RPM. And you can see suds at the top there. And then, of course, suds inside chattering away. It has beaten the sud slot. Now it's doing crazy sud spit. The washing machine still sounds guttural inside. That's actually starting to go a little bit lower to what it should actually be for this kind of a spin. Brilliant sud slot spin. That luckily got it to 1000 RPM. Right, machine is on its final rinse stage. And of course, still only a tinsy bit of water left in that machine now. But we will see what's going to happen for the final spin because you never know, it may do something really crazy, really silly. Probably in the next unbalanced sud slot. It may such lock again, I don't know. Fail. Do perfect. Great machine is on its final spin. Something, something tells me it's going to blow up. No, no it's right. It was going to blow up. It's unbalanced. Ready to start shaking. Oh my, not again! It's unstopping again! Because it's unbalanced, it should 
cope with the sud slot, but so maybe. Oh, you could hear all that sud shattering away. Now, now that the washing is finished, uh, the washing machine did get to 1300 RPM, so of course now it's time to transfer this bolt load into the into the uh, Beko DCU 7230S tumble dryer. And I think I would do a cotton's extra dry due to the size of the load. What the? I put that in the machine. What is a hard brush? Scara doing that? I have no idea. Extra tray. And that is actually being very noisy. It's crazy, what? Why are you so noisy? Anyways, we got another wash here. This one's a is light, is a uh, not bulk, but it's still heavy. So, why is it heavy? Well, here's one of the, the reasons. Towels. Now towels are heavy, but so are these mop pads. And then of course, we then of course got this apron here. That of course found that very disgusting when I saw it because it had a bit of dust on it. And there we go. Final item is apron. Take the rest of these. Daily quick. Time I say. Say daily quick. Forty. One thousand three hundred RPM. Otherwise, I would have put on a daily quick 60, but time flies and it'll be like almost finishing time. It'll be basically finishing time by the time this gets close to finishing. Here we go.
hard to modify the wash a bit because as you can see the suds have actually gotten it really high now because there's the suds of course still in the safe zone but I do not want a cute machine I repeat I do not want a cute machine so what I've done is I've put it from 40 down to 35 and put an extra rinse on it so it this time so it should not do anything that it shouldn't supposed to do. The machine is probably at 30 degrees now anyway. So it's probably gonna drain in a minute. Sudsiest wash I have ever done. put a towel here as a measure just in case if it decides to puke. I think 
both machines are actually playing up. Because near that, that does not sound normal. It's making sounds like there's actually something liquid in there, when there isn't. And the washing machine is just suds locking and doing other balance spins. I mean, what is going on here? Why is not nothing working like it's supposed to? It didn't work. Oh no, the washing machine's doing it again. It's a blast again. That is crazy. What? And this time something's banging on the window. is now on iron dry stage we soon be uncovered very very soon
is starting to go crazy in there now. Thanks. <laughs>